Hi, Travis here. I wanted to make a simple light that shows if I'm working in my home office. So, and something that can really delineate between if I'm on a phone call, if I'm just generally working, or on a video call. So if you think a lot of the new work from home scenarios that we're all facing, I work from home a lot, but if you think of Zoom, Teams, WebEx, any of those things, I wanted a way to simply control that for buttons on my desk for a few reasons so my family knows that I'm working or for a few other reasons. But I think more recently with stay-at-home orders and the like, probably many of you, this impacts more people. So I think it's good for all of us to share. If you have any ideas around what works for your work at home scenarios, this is one of the things that really works for me. So the way this works is I push a button to, as I mentioned, to set the light for either working or call or video. And then that light near my office door just changes to that specific color. So again, green, for working yellow for call or red I kind of signify for either video I'm on a video call or I'm recording video so that part is pretty straightforward and the way that it works is it's simply just a LifeX smart bulb mounted again near the entry to my office on the back of my monitor but then it's controlled via stream deck so there's a variety of ways you could do this you can make it a hotkey you can make it a script you could modify it as you need but for me it was good to have a dedicated button i have stream decks on my at my standing desk and my other desk and then i can push that button the way that that works behind the scenes it uses if this and that so ifttt -T, connecting to talking to the lifex cloud changes that bulb make sure it's on and changes that color so the overall process again more technically is first we'll connect ifttt -T to lifex then the second part of that will create a web hook in ifttt -T, so we can have something that stream deck can send to to create make this process happen and then finally we'll create a button in stream deck to trigger that webhook using http so we're kind of working backwards of the process that happens when you do it the other way you're pushing the button on stream deck it uses http to call ifttt and then from there that talks to the lifex cloud service and reaches back down through the internet and changes our bulb with the parameters that we set now from a cloud perspective there is a little bit of latency in the current setup since obviously we're going from Stream Deck to IFTTT to LifeX Cloud and back down to the bulb, but generally it works well. I mean, we're not, it, it does take a few seconds to interact with the bulb. So now let's look at the configuration details. First, some prerequisites here. So I'm assuming that you've set up your LifeX bulbs and can use them with the LifeX app. You'll also need your cloud.lifex.com account, username and password so that we can integrate that with IFTTT. And then first we'll go to ifttt.com. And so if you don't have an ifttt account, you need to create that. But what we'll do is we will log into ifttt with your account. So once you're logged in, you'll click search and then enter LifeX. So what we're doing here is we're searching for the LifeX service connection within ifttt. We click on the services tab to get to that portion of it and click LifeX and then click connect. And then we sign into LifeX and click authorize to authorize that service. So in IFTTT, first we're gonna click the profile icon, then my services. Now we've connected IFTTT to LifeX. So the next step is to create the IFTTT webhook. So first in IFTTT, we click on profile, then create, then we click plus this. We search for webhooks and then click on webhooks and then we'll click receive a web request. So enter in an event name and this is just a variable name that we'll utilize later for it creates that webhook, but also Stream Deck will use this when we add that to the Stream Deck button. And then from here, we're gonna create that, the action that IFTT uses. So what we want to happen, we click on the plus that, and we search for LifeX, select LifeX, and then we select the de desired LifeX action here. If we wanna turn on the bulb, when we push the button, obviously you could do different things. I also use this for turning on office lights and what have you, but for this particular scenario, we're just trying to make sure the bulb is on and it turns into a specific color. And from there, we'll create the action IFTTT uses. So we select the LifeX lights you wanna control. So this is really listed by a couple things, location, then group, then light name. In this instance, I'm looking for the location home, the group is status, and I also named the light status. And then you can also set up options here, such as fade, brightness, in those drop-down menus. In this case, I'll set the color change to green and the brightness to 50%. But you can also set advanced options like almost any of the variables that they show there. So specific colors, hue, saturation, blinking, transitions, all sorts of things there. So there's a whole bunch of options that IFTTT, if it doesn't have a recipe that really fits, 
then you can then look at that and figure out in the documentation what those additional parameters are. So to do that, just click on more info for the documentation there at the bottom. Then we click create action and finish. So now our IFTTT applet has been created. And then finally, what we want to do is test the IFTTT webhook. So before we go down the path of actually building out that Stream Deck button, we want to make sure that the button works. So from here, we go to the ifttt.com my services and we search for webhooks and then we select webhooks from there and it actually what this is it's in the documentation so you see the documentation button there and this page will allow us to test our event so we can fill in the variable again that variable that you defined earlier whatever you called that i call mine status light 2 in this scenario and then we can test it and once we click that we can test and see if our bulb changes to the color that we specify it also gives some good documentation here if we can use other apps like curl if you want to interface with this in a different way via a different script you have that full string that you use to now connect with this webhook so that's when i mentioned earlier there's a lot of different ways we could control this with IFTTT, it makes it pretty simple to do that. Now we've got this kind of web service listening for that. And whenever we hit that specific variable, it's going to change that color. So in this case, then you can use that, again, to use other applications to change the color. In this case, we're going to have to create one of these webhooks for each different color for red, yellow, and green in my scenario. You could do this and change almost any of those LifeX variables that you see in, in the options previously. So now when you send a request to that webhook, it should change your bulb to the color that you specified. And then ultimately we need to copy that full URL for us to later use in our next step when we build the Stream Deck button. So in order to get IFTTT as a plugin for Stream Deck, all we need to do is go down to into, in Stream Deck in more actions and then look for that particular component there. So this we can easily integrate IFTTT. All we do is click on install and in a matter of seconds that part is installed we go back to the main menu under custom. Now we've got IFTTT and we can configure that from here. It's as simple as dragging the button over to a blank button that you want to configure. And then we can give it a title, which is just the name that appears on the button. And from here as well, we'll take that maker key and paste it into the maker key field. And then the other important part is the name of the event that we will run here. So in this case, it will be status light, status underscore light two, and we make sure that variable fits in and that's how it plugs together all of the IFTTT functions. And now also the other way is I did this initially before I realized there was an IFTTT specific section. You can also go in and create a webhook if you need to. So under system, there is an option to drag this website component over to a button. And then we can put that full URL in this section, click access and background, and that gives us another way to do it. So essentially it's doing the same thing. Once they introduced the integration between Stream Deck and IFTTT, they made it simpler for you to do by just having you paste your specific variable components in there and create the button that way. So once we've created our Stream Deck button, we can test it from the Stream Deck. Another piece of this is you could control this. Obviously the more simple way to do this or at least from a get up and running perspective is you can control that from the LifeX app. So I, I didn't want to do that because I wanted to have a single button push to change the color. But obviously if you have that app open, if you have a device that you could dedicate to it, or if you don't mind opening up that application, you can change that bulb to whatever your color you want. But so that's still an option whenever you need it using this scenario. For me, I wanted something a little more straightforward, again, jumping between meetings and making that more of a simple process. Now there may be scenarios in the future. I know that LifeX has a LAN protocol. It just seemed a little bit more complicated. You'd probably have to find an app or use a script to do that. This was a quick way to do that and, and get it up and running. So in the future, it may be something that I use those LAN-based protocols that they have if there's a better way to do it. I'll put some links below and the things that I found just for those of you who are trying to modify this or use this for your own environment. But mostly for me right now, simplicity wins out. This was an easy thing that I could get up and running. You know, if you have the bulb, and you're already connected on LifeX, it's probably 15, 10 or 15 minutes worth of setup to get that moving. But another reason for this light is really something that helps me separate, be more mindful of when I'm working and when I'm not. So again, a lot of the time in my home office, I may do my own technology projects. My wife may say, hey, are you working or not? That's, that's kind of the gist of that as well. So it's easier to work longer hours sometimes when you know your office is just a few steps away. If this, you know, if I'm mindful of pushing this button, it, it helps me to sort of separate when I'm actually working and what are my work hours and 
you know, when I'm working on something that I want to work on for myself. So that's all there is to it. And there's a few steps in there, but once you've gone through it, it's fairly simple. So I hope that was helpful. And again, please share your automation and home office ideas, whether you do it on YouTube or Twitter or wherever, or even in the comments below. It's fun for me to kind of look at other ideas that other people have and see what you've done and try to mash those things together. And we can all kind of become better for it. So thanks for joining me and I will catch you next time.